Mr. Fredrickson? Mr. Fredrickson? <coughs> you dropped your medication on the floor, Mr. Fredrickson. <coughs> Where'd you go, Pierre? You, stop it. Stop it. Get over there. Get over there. Stop snooping. Stop snooping. Just go take a nap. Take a nap. Oh, look at this. This is awesome. Somebody drew the alien. Cool. With crayons. I never knew that. That's cool. Oh, Drawing aliens all over bureaucratical forms of science and mass deduction. Alright. I'm gonna save first. In the unlikely event that somehow I die. Because dying at this stage in the game is 100% likely. <clears throat> right, Pierre? Just, just go to sleep. Zo, I'm sorry, but I don't, I, I, I won't need you to come in next week. As you know, the store's been in trouble for some time now, and I couldn't hold off the creditors any longer. There's just no one coming to Sevastopol anymore. It's not just us either. Sounds like the whole station is in the red, and they're pulling the plug. Going to sell it off for scrap, I guess. I was speaking to one of the engineers, and he reckons they'll announce it soon. I'm telling you this so you don't stick around looking for another job. Zvostopol's finished. Time to move on. Harper. To all space flight employee. To all space flight terminal employees. In the interest of public safety and the prevention of panic, it must be made clear to all potential passengers that there are currently no scheduled flights leaving Zvostopol, nor ships available. The Colonial Marshals are investigating problems on station and will update accordingly. From the officers. <laughs> From the office of Marshall Wait. What is Apollo? Apollo is central AI that monitors and provides guidance to all seats and working Joes on Sevastopol. Apollo also oversees all communications on the station. So wherever you are, you know you're in safe hands. Seekson, tomorrow, together, for a better thingamajiggy. Stop it! Just, just go to sleep! Your dog, you sleep all day. Why is it so difficult to sleep now? I closed the bedroom door, so what? You're being annoying. I'm making you not annoying. So, take that. This interruption has been brought to you by the beverage I am drinking. The beverage I am drinking. Refreshing. Ah, yum-tastic. Imagine being like, imagine reading one of these, and the alien just sneaks up behind you and goes <laughs> Yep, and that just happened. Julia Jones, today's update. After <coughs> numerous demands, Marshall Waits finally called a public meeting to address the rumors that have been circulating on Sevastopol. Uh -huh. But instead of the answers we wanted, he continued to be evasive, and after only a few minutes, he and his team were pelted by projectiles from an <sighs> angry crowd. A gun was fired, there was panic, and now Waits and what's left of his team are forcibly ejecting us from the terminal. Mm -hmm. Feels like we're on our own now. We're on our own now. Ketchup! Um, I thought I saw something in here though. No? Nothing. Nothing at all. Okie dokie. <laughs> Remember boys and girl, crawling around in vents is the safest, safest of things. I don't have a flashlight because F refuses to work. And probably because I haven't picked up a flashlight yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's just rats. Pierre, giant rats in the vents. Giant rats ventilating in the ventilational vents of ventilation.
It looks like a shadow of a person back over there, but it's probably not. You have a cup of Joe smile? Nope. Want to join the Colonial Marshals? Help us make our corner of the galaxy a safer place to travel, work, and live. Colonial Marshals, Colonial Marines, Colonial Aliens, Colonial Engineers. Colonial Biceps, Colonial Exercise Machines. This whole damn place is falling apart. Colonial Justice. Colonial judges, colonial lawyers, colonial DAs, colonial doggies, giving colonial defiant looks of colonial justice and defiance and... Harold. Why, hello, Harold. How are you today? <clears throat> Do I just move you or something? Can I just shove you out of the way? Yeah. Keep close at all times to be used for mechanical repairs only. Interesting. Make your noises. Look at that detailed scrap of thing. Uh, here's the thing, I could have just jumped over this! I think the reason you can't jump is because it might break the alien. The alien would be confused, like, why are they jumping? <coughs> or maybe it's game breaking in a sense of, uh... In the sense of like, if you jump around too much, the alien will be like, <gasps> There's somebody jumping around too much. I should go investigate and bite their head off. Like this. <coughs> See, this is what happens when you explore. You find little doodads. I found that schematic. <laughs> what the? Pierre, that's why you can't distract me, because when loud noises happen, I get more, s like, spooked. <coughs> what was that, guys? It looked like a person running that way. From the way I saw. Is that a Red Bull? Or is no, that's just a beer. That's a beer. Keep moving. What's up here? Eat. User manual. Uh, what is it for though? User manual for MRT80 microcomputer system. Interesting. Bustable. I see all these. Pierre, when you're whining like that, it makes it difficult to tell whether the sound's coming from end game or if it's you just going. <coughs> <coughs> so I ask of you, please. Lie down on the pillow and take a nap. Please. Look at that fancy suitcase. Solomon Slime. Plasma torch required. Actually, that's a good idea. Where am I? Uh huh. So. Oh, I should have gone back and investigated that. <clears throat> I'm partial to doing that. I'm going to go back there and investigate that. Ok. 
going backwards in time. But, uh, yeah, Alien Resurrection was, uh, interesting. So, uh, it wasn't an experience. And then, what was it? Uh, and then the, then Dad got the entire collection on DVD. And the, uh, the aliens we got was, like, the special director's cut or whatever. <clears throat> So that one had all like the scenes that were cut out in the original. Then you know like how like when it went from like ah, this is what happened and uh, stuff, right? So uh, what? So we knew about Amanda Ripley from the cut scene from the. Uh, I hate that noise. So I can go through that door now, right? Right? No. I came back for nothing? <coughs> That's a load of chromity. I'm sorry people for wasting your time. I seriously thought it was worthwhile. Yeah. Figured out that Ellen Ripley had Amanda Ripley. And plot spoiler. Amanda Ripley lives. To a nice ripe old age. Of uh... I don't know. I don't remember what age the guy said. He said that she died of old age. That's pretty much it, though. Or maybe it was a medical condition. I don't remember. He was that jerk who wanted to smuggle face huggers out. What's going on? Why did my flare glitch out like that? Why did it go crazy? Ugh. You know, the creepiest thing ever. Uh, with a face hugger in my experience was an alien vs. predator 2 because he actually saw like the face hugger would jump on your face and you saw a little squiggly thing you're just wiggling all over the it was on your it took up the whole computer monitor <clears throat> and the swiggling tube thing that would go down your throat and the fact that you saw all of it in a first person perspective and then they would cut away to your character struggling and trying to yank the, uh, the face hugger off your face before you know succumbing to unconsciousness and Pierre you hush you hush that was creepy as Ugh. actually that might be worth investigating up there I'm gonna go up there first Yeah. Fuck the bushels. Oh, not enough power, is it? Restore power. Hang it! Yeah, this is your fault. It's a game on exploration. The better you explore, the better your odds of survival. That's gotta be the exit up ahead. 